Hello my family members, today I have brought some important and very hard missing term previous year questions of Accenture. So please watch the video till the end because this will really really help you in your upcoming Accenture on campus exam. So let's see what the questions are. So look at the logic behind the question. So here 6 is multiplied with 3 then it is added with 2 so the number becomes 20 right then the previous expression result 20 is multiplied with 3 again then multiplied with 4 that means it is incremented by 2 right then the number becomes 64 the next number in the series right then the previous expression result 64 is multiplied with 3 again then is it is incremented by 2 that means 4 becomes 6 and the numbers becomes uh, 64 multiplied with 3 that is 192 plus 6 is 198 right so numbers becomes 198 again the previous expression result 198 multiplied with 3 and again added with 8 that means uh, the number becomes 602 so implement the same logic in the next pattern as well so 602 multiplied with 3 and add with 10 that means this number is incremented by 2 right so the number becomes 18 6 plus 10 that is 18 16 right so the answer becomes 18 16 okay the third and third option is the correct option okay let's look at the next question I hope you have tried to solve the problem. Okay, I am solving the problem. So at first look at the problem here carefully. At the first number is 126, right? 126. Then the uh, next pattern number is 149. So how is this become? 126 if it is added with 23, then the number becomes 149, right? If then the previous expression result 149 is added with 26, then the number becomes 175 then if 175 is added with 29 then the number becomes 204 right so implement the same logic in this case as well actually the logic is uh, the number here is actually being added with 3 so the 204 will be added with 32 right so the number will be 236 right so the answer is 236 Okay, the option 3 is the correct answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. Before you start the next question, I would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding Accenture and Hexaware. Okay, let's go to the next question. So this is the third question of today's session. Please pause the video and try to solve the problem. Otherwise, it will not be helpful to you, right? Okay, I'm solving the question. So look at the pattern here carefully. The 50, 50, 80, 270 and the question mark right so what the pattern it is following okay look at the number so at first 50 comes right so the next term is also 50 so how is this become 50 if my is subtracted by 25 and multiplied with 2 then the number becomes 50 again right then the next term if we if we decrease 25 by 5 then this becomes 30 right i mean uh, if you increase 5 then it will become 30 right so 50 minus 30 multiplied with 4 that means uh, the number is here also increasing by 2 right so that means the number becomes 20 multiplied with 4 80 right and the next term is the expression result 80 minus 35 that means this number is incremented by 5 and then this number is incremented by uh, 2 so the number will be 6 here and if we multiply this 80 minus 35 that is uh, 5 and 4 so that means 45 multiplied with 6 the number becomes 270 right 270 so then 270 will be multiplied with sorry 270 follow the next pattern also follows the previous pattern as well so it will be 40 here and if we multiply this with 8 the number will be our actual answer right so 270 minus 40 is 230 and 230 min multiplied with 8 is 1840 right so 
we have got the number what we were supposed to get right so this is the answer so the answer will be second option right okay let's go to the next question so this is the next question so please pause the video and try to solve the problem okay let me answer look at the difference between two that means 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 and 12 minus 5 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 and 19 minus 12 is equal to 7 then 28 minus 19 is equal to 9 and then 39 minus 28 is equal to what uh, it is 11 so this way actually this is becoming plus 2 every time right so 3 plus 2 5 plus 2 7 plus 2 9 plus 2 right and then the next term also 52 minus 39 it will be 13 then the number should be incremented by 2 so the number will be added with 52 is 15 right so the number becomes 67 right so i hope you have got the logic right so the op option 3 is the correct answer so this is the next problem uh, what will be the next term in the series 4554063573080 please pause and solve right otherwise this will not help in your exam right okay look at the problem for so the 455405 right so each number in in this series actually being subtracted by 49 uh, from the previous one right look at the number here carefully so 4 455 is subtracted by 49 so this is becoming 406 right again if 406 is subtracted by 49 then the number becomes 357 right 357 and then if we subtract 357 by 49 then the number becomes 308 so the next term also should be subtracted by 49 so 308 minus 49 becomes what this becomes 259 right so this should be the answer okay the option 2 is the correct answer in this case okay let's go to the next question i hope you have got the logic right okay the next question is this 2 1 minus 1 minus 9 minus 51 what number should come at the next okay let me solve i hope you have tried the pro tried to solve the problem and you have answer in your mind right okay let's check if you are right or not so the first term uh, is 2 right if we multiply 2 by 2 then subtract 3 we will get the next term that is 1 right and then if the previous expression answer 1 is multiplied with 3 then subtracted by uh, subtracted by 4 then we will get minus 1 right the next term and the next term I mean the previous expression term is multiplied with 4 and subtracted by 5 then we will get minus 9 then the previous expression result minus 9 is multiplied with 5 you can see here the number here is incrementing by 1 right and here also this number is incrementing by 1 right i mean decreasing okay so minus 9 multiplied with 5 and minus 6 right so the number becomes minus 45 minus 6 is minus 51 that means the next term so what should be the next term this should be follow this should follow the same term as it was following so minus 5 uh, 5 should be 6 here and 6 should be 7 here right okay what will be the answer 6 one six six five thirty so thirty six three yes three one three right so this will be the answer in this case so option four will be the correct option of the answer okay let's go to the next problem so this is a quiz for you right so please pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself please give me the answer in the comment section i will see if you are attentively watching the video or not right okay let's go to the next question that is this right what is the wrong term in the given series 30 45 90 245 675 
2.5. This is actually being asked in many many exams. I mean, in the government exams as well, right? So please pause and try to solve. Okay, let me solve the problem. Look at the problem carefully. The first term is 30, right? Okay, the next term is coming by multiplied with 1.5, right? So 30 multiplied with 1.5 is 45. And then 45 is multiplied with 2, right? So this becomes 90. Then 90 becomes, uh, 90 should be multiplied with 2.5, right? So the number should be 90 multiplied with 2 is 180 plus 45 that is 225 right so the next term should be 225 multiplied with 3 that means 675 right so if you see carefully in this problem then you will see that the number in this line is wrong right so this should be 225 but this is uh, given 245 so the answer 245 is the wrong term in the given series so the option 2 is the correct answer okay let's go to the next question the question is 7500 1505 60, 160.5 37.1 25.71 7.742 10.7742 what is the wrong term in the given series this is a tough question right okay let me solve the problem this will be clear to you right okay look at the pattern uh, being followed here so the first term is actually 700 right so do this operation in this case divide by 5 and add 5 so the number will become 1505 and 1505 is divide by 10 then add by 10 so the number will become 160.5 right and repeat the process in the next series as well so 160.5 will be multi uh, divide by 5 and then add with 5 so the number should become 37.1 and if we do the same in the next line as well that means 37.1 divide by 10 and add 10 so the number should become 13 point seven one right but in this case thirteen point seven words thirteen point seven one is not visible so the term twenty five point seven one is not appropriate in this series so the option two I mean option B is the correct option okay let's go to the next question okay this will also be a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself and give me the two quiz question i have given to you right okay i hope this session was helpful to you if you think so please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture and hexaware preparation so thank you for today's session